In the first round of the MIAA playoffs, Hiller's softball entered the South Division I bracket as the 13th seed and hosted 20th seeded Duxbury. Bottom of the first, two on, two outs, Emma Murphy at the plate. It's a piece of this one, driven into center field. That'll drop down. Katie Holly around third to throw in is a good one, but not in time, and it's 1-0 Hillers, an RBI double for Emma Murphy. The score remained 1-0 until the bottom of the fifth. Two on, two outs, Katie Holly at the plate. She's just such, such a sound player, fun to watch. There it is. Up the middle, past the reach of the shortstop. One run in, here comes Emily Whalen. It's three nothing Hillers. And sliding safely into second is Katie Holly. A two RBI double, and the Hillers lead three nothing. Emily Whalen pitches a seven inning shutout gem, giving up only three hits. I caught up with her after the game. Tom Nappy here with today's star, Emily Whalen. Emily, you pitched seven shutout innings. You went two for three at the plate, and you also scored a run. A great day by you. Uh, can you just talk about this game and pitching against a tough Duxbury lineup and wh what you think led to so much success pitching against this very good Duxbury lineup? Well, Duxbury's a really good team. They're really competitive, and our team played really well. I'm really happy with the way we played. We only made one error, one or two, and I'm really happy about that. They had my back. It was really good all, all around. And uh, can you talk about the defense? Uh, the defense out there just had your back, and they made some great plays out there today. Oh, yeah, the defense was so good. We were solid. I was so happy with it. Katie in the outfield, you know, Emma in the infield. Everyone was stepping up, and everyone was making good play. And you guys have a young team this year featuring just one senior, but you seem to have a really good chemistry out there. What's it like playing with this group? Oh, it's so awesome. Everyone has each other's backs. We're always there for each other. It's, it's awesome out there. Well, congratulations on a great performance and hopefully many more postseason games to come. Yes, thank you. In the next round, the Hillers took on fourth seeded King Phillip on the road. Bottom of the third, King Phillip got the scoring started. As this is hit in the air over to left field, that is going to land fair. Lead runner being waved around. Here she comes and she will score. It's a 1 0 King Phillip lead. An RBI single for Nicole Carter. KP plates four runs in the inning, and that's all they would need. They pull off the 8-1 win. Hopkinton Hillers softball finishes the season with 13 wins and eight losses overall. Despite the tough loss, it was a great season for Coach Soderberg and a young Hillers team that has a very bright future. Hopkinton Hillers baseball entered the South Division II sectional playoffs as the second seed. The Hillers got a bye in the first round and hosted seventh seeded Duxbury in the quarterfinals. Bottom of the third, one on, two outs, Tommy Ambersoni at the plate. 2-2. Two, two. Up the middle, past the glove of the pitcher, into center field, and a run will score. An RBI single for Tommy Ambersoni. That wakes, up, that wakes up the Hiller dugout. Certainly does. Tommy wins the battle. That would be the only run of the game until the top of the seventh. Charlie Kuhn do up next. 2-1. Runner taking off from first to throw up by Simos. Right on the money and got him! But the run going to try to score! And it's a tie game! They send John Roberts from third. The distraction was set with Sam Regan heading to second. John Roberts comes from third and we are tied at one. The run was an unearned run for Duxbury and despite a great pitching performance by Brendan Kelly, the game is tied up at one. We're on to extras. Tom Leone in the game to take over pitching duties. Despite the bases being loaded, the damage is limited to one run. Here in the top of the eighth, it's a 1-1 game. Gets a piece of this one over to left field. It is caught. Runner from third is going to tag. The throw in is cut off. It's 2-1 Duxbury. Jack Murphy with a sacrifice RBI fly out. 
Duxbury leading 2-1 heading to the bottom of the eighth. Two outs for the Hillers. Jack Whaley, the last hope for Hopkinton. Line up and the pitch. Gets a piece of it up the middle. Glove by the shortstop. The throw over in time. And they go down one, two, three in the bottom of the eighth. Duxbury has done it. He grounds out and the Hillers fall two to one in eight innings. Hopkinton finishes the season with 14 wins and four losses overall. A tough loss for the Hillers, but this year they grab the TVL title, the Pedroli tournament title, certainly a lot to be proud of. Congratulations to Coach Simos and the Hillers baseball crew.